I think that this is already too much. Channel. Today is going to be another face off review where I'm going to be comparing two different products that both have the same claims. But before we get into it, if you guys are new here, my name is Sarah. I also want to say hi and welcome to all of the new subscribers. Just so you guys have an idea of where we are in time at the point of me filming this. Today is actually my husband and Trevor's birthday, so I'm getting ready to go out to dinner with him and a bunch of friends. And today's also the day that my Jaclyn Hill reviews video went up and I am overwhelmed by all of the new subscribers that came in from it and by all the views. So if you're one of those people, welcome. Thank you guys so much for watching it and for subscribing. I hope you guys enjoy this video as well. But if this is your first video, please make sure to subscribe, hit that notifications button. That way you get notified of any time I have a new video. I also announce whenever my new videos go up on Instagram, so make sure you're following me on there and on Twitter as well. Okay, so like I mentioned, and like the name of the title of this video suggests, I am going to be doing a face-off review with two foundations. They are the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer, and the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. So both of these are drugstore, and they are both a concealer and foundation combination. So I thought that it was pretty interesting that these were two drugstore brands that had the exact same kind of claims. So I definitely wanted to test them out against each other and see how they both stack up. So the new product for me in this is the Makeup Revolution one. I haven't tried it before. I thought that the packaging was just like really beautiful. And I know when this first came out, everyone was kind of going crazy over it. So I finally got my hands on it and thought I would try it out. But at the same time, when I was purchasing this, I decided to also get a refill on my favorite drugstore foundation of all time, which is the Milani Conceal and Perfect one. So since they seemed pretty similar, I thought it'd be cool to do half of my face in one, half of my face in the other, and just kind of see how it all wears throughout the day. So in the Makeup Revolution one, I got F10. I wanted F11, which is actually my color for Makeup Revolution. I use their Fast Face Stick Foundation, and I am F11 in this one, and it matches really, really well. But they were sold out of that, so I decided to go ahead and try F10. It looked okay when I swatched it in the store. And then in the Milani one, one, I am traditionally 07 sand, but in the summertime I do mix in 09 tan because I've usually tanned up about a shade or two, so I definitely need to color match myself for the summertime, which is coming up. So the Milani one claims to combat under eyes, redness, and other skin perfections, and it's supposed to be full coverage and water resistant. So this one comes with one fluid ounce of product in it, and it retails for $9.99. And then the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define one claims that it offers lightweight yet buildable coverage. So I might have to use two layers of this to get it up to this full coverage standard. But it's supposed to be oil-free yet creamy and comfortable bowl so it's to dry down to a long lasting demi matte finish so this is gonna be demi matte and then the other side is gonna be matte won't settle into fine lines or cling to dry patches and it's supposed to offer highly pigmented coverage that can be layered or diffused to suit your skin and this one has 0.8 ounces of product in it for $12. So, I mean, just deal-wise alone, the Milani obviously wins because it's 10 bucks and you get 0.2 more ounces, which is nice, but you know, we'll see how it goes. So I'll go ahead and dive right in. So I am starting with a fully clear base right now. I actually did just shave my face. I do Dermablade once in a while, so I have a really, really good canvas for all of this to go on. So both foundations are gonna get the best chance to look as good as possible right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start out with some primer. I'm gonna be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. All right, and I will be going in with a sponge for application for both of these. I only have one sponge though, so hopefully that won't skew it. But we're gonna start with the Makeup Revolution one just since it is a little bit of a thinner formula. So the applicator on this kind of, I don't know how I feel about it, I'm on the fence. It is like a giant doe foot applicator. I feel like if I'm using it to dot my face constantly, that's just going to be like a breeding ground for bacteria, but I'll do it this first time just because, I mean, that's the way it's supposed to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the right side of my face. I think you guys might be backwards, but it is my right side. So. Oh god, that noise. Oh, and then it just like fell out. That's a thin formula. I think that this is already too much. All right, so blending it in. Th 
the tone might be a little off for me. I think this pool is just a touch too cool for my skin, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and fix that with like bronzer and everything. Okay, so I do know that the Milani is pretty full coverage, so I'm going to go ahead and just spot conceal almost, just some areas that I feel like need a little bit more coverage. Okay, so the formula is super buildable. I mean, that second layer just really made it super full coverage, which is nice. So it's not hard to build it. And it's, honestly, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of a thinner formula if you want like a more natural makeup day. This um this undertone's throwing me off, but we're gonna keep going. Trevor's already married to me, so it's okay if I don't look super cute for his birthday, he can get over it. All right, so going in with the Milani. God, the coverage on this is just so good. And honestly, this was just half a pump because I'm only doing half my face, but it's still covering up so well. It's not looking too bad in the monitor, but I mean, I can tell the undertone is a little bit different on both of them, but it's okay. We will make it work. Okay, so on first impression, it's weird. The Milani is supposed to be matte, and then the Makeup Revolution one is supposed to be demi-matte, but I feel like the Makeup Revolution side is actually more matte. In real life, I don't know how it's looking in the camera, but like, the coverage on the Milani side is better, and that was only with one layer. But yeah, I'm just noticing a little bit more shine on the Milani side, which is really tripping me out because in my head, it's always been a very matte foundation. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face and I will drop back in with you guys on some thoughts. Okay, so I wanted to pop back on because I'm like excited to be using this. I'm gonna go in with the Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette. I have been wanting to try Natasha Denona for forever. I've already dug into this shade right here, but I'm gonna actually go ahead and do a look with the entire palette. So you guys will see that kind of montage out here, but I just wanted to let you guys know what I was using. Okay, so makeup is complete. I have the full face on. I have all of my foundation routine done, including the setting powder and everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look here. So both foundations look good. Now it's looking like the opposite though. So like the Milani side looks more matte, which is this side, at least in person. And then the Makeup Revolution side looks just a little bit more dewy. So very odd that it like swapped on me. I guess the Milani one might just take like a minute to really mattify but yeah I mean they both look really good I can barely tell a difference 
right now, but we'll see how it wears through the rest of the day. It is about four o'clock right now. We're leaving for dinner around six, so I'll check in with you then when it's been about a couple of hours into wear, and I'll just check in with you guys a couple more times and let you guys know how I'm feeling about both of these foundations throughout the night, guys. So we are about to leave for dinner. It is about 6.30, so I've had this on for two and a half hours, so I feel like they're pretty much looking the exact same right now. I can barely tell a difference. And they both have like a little bit of a luminance to it. But we'll go ahead and see how it continues to break down through the rest of the night. So I'll keep you guys up to date. So I just got back from dinner. I wasn't able to check in at dinner just because it was actually kind of quick. And also, you know, obviously we were having fun. But I did want to check in here. Let me go ahead and get to my lights so that we can get a better look. Okay, let's see if I can give you guys better lighting. So it's looking like the Milani side is still the more matte side as opposed to the Makeup Revolution side. It is about 9.30 at night now. So I've had this on since about like 4, 4.30. So we're looking at about five hours of wear now. So looking in really close here, I'm noticing that more of the makeup has come off on this side of my face where the Makeup Revolution side is versus the Milani side, which is still more intact. But other than that, they seem pretty even. Like I said, the Milani seem, this Milani side seems to be just a touch more matte, but not dramatically so. So I'll keep wearing it. We are gonna hang out for a little bit. We're getting ice cream, gonna watch some of our TV shows. So I'll still hang out in this makeup for at least a couple more hours and then come back to you guys at the end of the night with my full thoughts. Hey guys, okay, so I am back. I'm about to start getting ready for bed. It is about 10.30 at night, so I just wanted to pop on here and give you my final thoughts on these two foundations. So we're looking at about six hours of wear. God, my mirror is just disgusting. I'm just wind I sit, that's so weird. So I've noticed both sides have started to get dewy and just as equally dewy at this point. So at about hour six is when the Milani started to break down more towards how much the Makeup Revolution had broken down. But around my nose though, the Milani is still holding much stronger than the Makeup Revolution. I'm still seeing like some missing patches right here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. But overall, I mean, they're really, really comparable. I will say though, you know, as far as which one I like more, I still do like the Milani more. Like I said, it kept me a little bit more matte than the Makeup Revolution one did for most of the night. And especially too, with them being so comparable, the Milani, you get more product. You get one full fluid ounce for $9.99 versus the Makeup Revolution, you get 0.8 fluid ounces for $12.99. So the Milani is just overall a better deal. Yes, they are both drugstore brands but still there is definitely a better value as far as the two of them goes and it is the Milani so that one does win this review face off but I will say though this Makeup Revolution one it still isn't half bad if you're looking for something a little bit lighter than the Milani because the Milani is super full coverage there's no getting around it just one layer even is enough to just like totally cover your face and give you like a perfect canvas versus this one is more buildable so it starts out a little bit sheerer and then you can build it to the same coverage as this so if you're looking for something that's a little bit more versatile the makeup revolution one may be the way to go but overall i still think that the milani is a much better concealer so that was my video for today it's very late i'm gonna go ahead and sign off now i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys like these face off review videos i'll make sure to do more of them don't forget to follow me on instagram at underscore bottled ambition subscribe to this channel turn on notifications and i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching bye